which was surprising. However, on the Vitality side, we've gotten a gift adders. We had Simple in the first series. He was going nuts. Zai Wu delivered a stunning performance as well on Mirage. So, I mean, we've had, we've had the two best players in the world and using the AWPs, uh, having phenomenal performances today. Yeah, it was really, really cool to watch. No doubt about it. Hampers with a smoke and a defuse kit. Pretty useful on this map in case you need it. I mean, if you want to defuse that bomb over at long, let's say, it could be could be weird without having the extra smoke down. And uh, on the Vitality side, though, uh, a couple of smokes and a Molotov to try and clean into a bomb site. Apex and RPK waiting up here and maybe just looking to edge their way in. It's going to be what thrown here? A smoke it's by a Apex? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, for the door, flash in, gonna send RPK perhaps to his death. Hopefully he gets one. RPK is gonna see no one. Oh my lord, that's a boost that puts a stop to this strategy real quick. And look at the re-rotation from NIP. They get caught out in the open, but Rez has a good response. He cannot go down here, he knows what's coming. Just stay alive for your teammates, especially now. Apex would love to shoot him in the back end. Maybe he will. Oh, Rez spins for it. He could have definitely been dead. But now it's a one versus three. And Masuta's just up on the box looking for them. The bomb is down on long. So he'd have to get a kill, go back and try and find it, and then continue to fight. That's It's such a long route for him to get back into this round. He can't even pick up that USP yet, I think. So, yeah, he's just in a lot of trouble. He swings for it, and they are all fighting him. And that will be the round for NIP. A nice triple kill for Rez. Man, that almost even worked, despite the fact that that fake got shut down right at the beginning. RPK goes down with the first shot fired. Look at this little peekaboo moment. Yes. Yeah. But Rez hit some very nice shots on the other side of the map to save the day. Without Rez, I think NIP's in a lot of trouble in that pistol. One to nothing for the Swedes. All down the middle they go. Not even really any real investment into this round for Vitality. Bomb is being led by Masuta all the way up the catwalk. It's an MP9 waiting for them out there on Nork, and with the two people playing down at long, this is going to be fine. Apex has managed to get down in the CT spawn, which in another round could be really cool, but in this round, shouldn't make much of a difference. I still don't think they should be able to really get out from this uh, catwalk position into into any kind of a wide fight, but ooh, they're going to go back yet, yeah, because Apex is there. They say, hey, wait a minute. If we go B and they start rotating in, maybe Apex could do something with the Glock. Yeah, I don't know about mid as being the option. That seems like a crazy place to try and attack this bomb site. Although fair play, tunnels kind of seem crazy too. But essentially, they're they're trying to force a rotation into the waiting arms of Apex, and there's just no reason for anyone from NIP to move. I don't think there's enough firepower, enough enough weaponry, yeah, to get the kill necessary to make the ninjas rotate. Well, you sort of see the idea, but yeah, it, it does feel like it's tricky to do at the moment. They'd love it if they could. Pop scheme, seeing at least one. Now there's a little bit of a movement down towards the middle. Currently above Apex. Oh, he's been waiting all day for this kill. And finally, he's losing. First fire coming out, and it does not work. But he tried. He went for it. He did, he did in fact, try. Two to nothing for Nip. The last time these uh, two teams played this map was back at uh, Dreamhack Masters. It was a 16 to 4 victory for Vitality. Ooh. So. They already. We'll see uh, if NIP's improved anything here on Dust 2. I mean, they're already halfway to that, that result, Jason. Now we got two rounds. <laughs> I know. It's good. They're getting there quick. A lot of AKs in play. Fewer grenades on the Vitality side, but. Again, one of those maps where, you know, when you have this kind of a rifle, you can you could go and take these fights exactly like Shox is doing right now. Look at how far in he's getting. This is huge for him. The spray is through the Molotov on top of Nork, and he's under some pressure here. RPK will pick off Hampers. A lot of people here for NIP, but they don't have the rifles to take this fight with any ease. Nork, oh my god, what a big double spray. That just connected instantly. Oh, shocks down to 21 HP. He's forced into a passive, and this is a big flank. This has to be everything. RPK with the first tapping away. He loses that, but Twist is down at 48. It's Apex, one versus one, and he can't take a single bullet. I don't know how Apex wins this round. Twist is going to get aggressive. Apex will never expect it. A nice win for NIP. Three to nothing. Wow. Wait. 
Did he keep the FAMAS? Was there not a rifle somewhere? This, I can't actually believe Maybe that this... Maybe just, uh... That shouldn't have been, uh, it felt like that shouldn't have been a, a, a kill, or at least, uh, maybe only the one, but that MP9 took both down. Yeah, well, he got the, he swung and got the dink, and then, well, I think once he realized he had the dink, went off of just, like, a shoulder peak spam shot, I think it was like, why don't I go back and just try and clean that up, and he got gifted, gifted a second one as well. They might have ran into each other's crosshairs, so the second player couldn't actually take that fight. But, I mean, impressive NIP is able to shut down that hit on Catwalk with just the SMGs. Let's see. Pops me in the corner with the smoke in front and with Hampers also shooting into the smoke. It's all working out fine. Shocks is coming from the door to pick up at least a one kill. P215 hand. If you could find Hampers, it probably would be a bomb plant here and that would help them out a bit. Also covering the middle is Apex. So three on four and Hampers just making himself very hard to find. And yeah, he's going to get the kill there. That's excellent work from Hampers. Big double. Apex going to be going down. NIP surviving with four members and... That is going to start to build way more of an economy here. So, things looking good, although Vitality could buy in this next round. Yeah, this is such a good start. That's a great start for NIP. Especially, as we just mentioned two rounds ago, they've already matched their previous efforts rounds on Dust2 against Vitality. So, they got to be feeling uh, infinitely better. They, uh, the desk kind of laid this one out as a big risk for NIP picking this, and what would they have in store? And at least so far, it's starting out well. Shox is going to get a nice select shot on the Plopski and pass the op over back into the hands of Zaiwu. Yeah, and that AWP on Zaiwu is obviously going to be... should be one of the talking points here for Vitality. Definitely saw just how much it could do on the first map. So far, Sai was actually got zero kills, even though it's early days. If he were to cool off even 10%, this would be a very different feeling for NIP, you have to assume. Oh, no, nearly falling into that. He does do a fair bit of damage in return. A grenade here on the catwalk. There, a lot of people grouped up would be huge, but not sure if they have it at the moment. They really don't. Plobski is the closest yeah, one no by utility. with an HE. Yeah, and he's all the way towards mid, so you have to imagine this will be a set piece. Plenty of nades, on the other hand, for Vitality. No op yet in defense. Remember, they got hit pretty hard. It was Apex who had to win a one versus one clutch, so the money is not quite built up for NIP. The Swedes going to attempt to hold on, but it's going to be difficult. Thankfully, their first opponent is blind. RPK in rebuttal, and a nade underhanded on the catwalk does nothing. And Nock perhaps waiting for a flashbang, gonna make his move now around the smoke. They don't see it coming. He's gonna get a double kill. Zaiwu coming out, missing a shot. Pistols out, flashes out. Everyone's blind, but NIP just won the round. Shocks can do nothing. Ooh, man, that was close. Yeah, it's the fact that they had a third player on that A-bomb side all along. I don't think Vitality actually read that. I think once they got the kill on Twist there, they didn't realize that there was going to be a second man on the ramp. And that was Nork coming out with this play. And, of, of course, flashed in as well. Ooh, Hampers even jumping at the end. Man, didn't even catch that. So, 5-0. and oh, And with the bomb plant, I mean, fair play. They can still buy here, Vitality. But what did you say it was? 16-4 to four last time they played? Look at them now. Yes, I know. They're living the dream. Love and life. Vitality call a timeout, wanting to put a stop to this as soon as possible. They're probably a little bit shocked. So, I mean, you can kind of hear Apex. You know, he's just, he, even, he even knew it. He was like, yeah, for them to, you know, let Dust 2 through against us, caught us by surprise. We're just going to have to be a little bit more vigilant and figure it out. So, first timeout is taken. And you have to imagine they're talking about the differences between that match at DreamHack Masters and the one that they're witnessing in these first five rounds so far. Twist now on the AWP. Cyru without his. Still pretty quick down middle and out long and everybody is blind, but Rez is going to have his vision back a lot earlier. 
twist with the one flashbang, as you can tell, Nork with the other one, some great supportive grenades coming out. And Simon, if they'd even just even the fight up down there, this play would be so huge. It still could be. Oh, they've not seen him yet. He's got three people. There's one headshot. Tries to tap away, and he nearly gets the triple, but not quite. Look at how much damage he did there, taking half the health away from Rez and Twist. But it leaves RPK in a nearly unwinnable position here. And again, he's just trying to deathmatch his way through the round. That's not going to happen. A quad kill on Rez instead. And a 6 to Oli now for NIP. This has got real yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, brill that's a brilliant play from Zaiwu. And it's, what, what a difficult situation to actually make that work. But he could have he could have pulled him back into the round. This is where things are really lost. I mean, Vitality just gets entirely countered by that nip defense at the corner. They come along, they come around so quick with the Molotovs, nothing Vitality can do. AWP picked up by Shocks, surrounded by Deagles. An interesting play. Still have some money left, so maybe it's fine. Just try to hero your way through. We do all love it when these things work out, so... At least they're giving us that. Now, where do you where do you take this AWP? Where's the... what's the spot for it? I don't know, but it's the most passive one on the map so far. We've Nowhere. seen frequently at times the op coming out coming out of middle and uh, you know peeking through CT spawn up towards the car, maybe trying to get a pick at window. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but obviously priority has got to be recycling that op, especially when you have Zaiwu on your team. He's gone all golem on us, just hiding it. He's precious. <laughs> oh! Ooh. He just jumped inside of the site and he is dead and gone. That is so cool. Apex with a headshot on Twist. But if they over rotate in, if they actually just go for the B bomb side now, which would make sense because they just got a kill there, there's still Plopsky and Nork inside. They can still lose this round. And that would be so heartbreaking given the opening here. There's a big chance here for Vitality. RPK at it again. <laughs> and well, that is a disgusting and yet beautiful way to win a round. Surely nothing they can do here now. NIP 2 versus 5. Bomb is going to be going down. What? What a smackdown. Yeah, what a ridiculous round to witness. The shot from Shocks, the jumping Hampus, and then the one deeks across the board. That is, uh, Vitality's gonna be pleased with that one, but not replicable quite yet. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Oh, man. Why are they buying AKs? I don't know. Why are they buying AKs? That's actually cool. Is it? I just, yeah, what a, I mean, that's such an impressive round. <laughs> but I don't even think Vitality were expecting any of this. Just like, oh, okay. Oh, another one dig. Okay, cool. Rare saving the AWP is, is actually like a little bit of a consolation prize here towards the end. Look at this. He's, he's back doing it again. He's like, yeah, I can fly. <laughs> he just hovered there. He probably probably saw it right at the end. I mean, that's three different one digs as well. RPK, Apex, and Zaiwu all get a one dig. So, fair play, I guess. All different parts of the map. He was he was just reenacting that scene from Enemy at the Gates, wasn't he? Yep, homeboy got to jump first. Jokes on you. Eighth round here. It's weird, isn't it? That that's that's the round that that sort of gets vitality on the board. And again, it's like, it will mean so much less if they can't continue now. This was just getting the foot in the door, yeah. but now they actually need to win a regular round. And that doesn't really, from my point of view, have to be in a regular way, but it, it's got to it's gotta start happening. Uh, Rez is 10, 1-1. One one. So that's cool. This has done a great job with that A bomb site. Yeah, which has been where the majority of the action has been for vitality. We'll see. They haven't really shown us they, they have the plan to overcome this defense quite yet. Maybe the adjustments that NP making are that stumping, so we'll see if they can build on the success. The op in the hands of Twist is over at the A bomb site. RPK is going to hold on to upper dark. Vitality with uh, the most basic level of mid control you could have. Going to start moving up catwalk, clearing close mid, clearing close cat, and then we'll see what they want to fall into. I'm guessing RPK would love to to have had some 
More grenades in response. But they haven't actually thrown anything against him. Now they're going to double up. There's a bit of an HE, but I think they're going to come try and see if they could catch him. So far, not throwing any grenades. Actually, they back on out. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, that really is, especially because they did the hard part, right? They put themselves in danger by getting halfway through that tunnel and then just yeah. backing off of it. So being called off by someone on the NIP side. Therefore, they don't have information of what's going on in Upper Dark, but a good push towards mid, one for one trade. Shocks and CT spawn. Hampus goes down next. However, Plopsky has won his battle at the B tunnels. Zaiwu, that's bold. You're going to go down for sure. And Apex is at such low HP, I don't think there's a way he can win it because Plopsky is playing this just perfectly. Yes, he is so defensive, making sure that, you know, at least until the bomb goes down, there's no reason to really panic. In the middle, Shox is also a bullet away from death, and they should know where he is. Surely it's been called out, but oh, they no. are acting like they don't, and I'm not sure how they could have lost track of him, but he could at least get the one kill, maybe even a double, if Wait. he's real quick about it. Apex all the way in the back. He's picked up an AWP. This could get interesting. There are no grenades left on the NIP side, except for flashbangs, so this could slip away from them. Here comes Shox, spray to get the first kill, and now Apex standing up. Oh, he misses a big chance here. Now Shox gets one more headshot, and this might work out. Vitality on no health at all. I think they found a way to steal it. Apex, I can't believe he finally goes down, and there's another kill for Blomsky. He can't find the bomb in time it doesn't even matter a quad kill on Plopsky but they lose the round and he will go to the bomb that is a steal I I honest to god I thought shocks misplayed that for like 10 whole seconds straight I could not believe that he didn't peek earlier but he gets that second kill we'll have to see it there's seven combined HP on shocks and apex when this happens this next kill how exactly does it occur just an instant headshot oh my god res misses the opportunity that's unreal. What a risk. What pressure put on Apex when they get that close to door and window. I really am confused about how they how they lost track of shots. I have to go back and watch the rounds to say. Plopsky with a nice kill. Wanted the uh, follow-up. Oh, an RPK clicking people away now. Yeah, they knew he was in CT spawn at one point, right? Maybe they thought that he'd slipped away in the smoke or something? They must have. Like, they must have thought that he joined up. Good round, great round out but of RPK. But where, where would he have gone? <laughs> that's the next question. Yeah, I, well that's why I, I almost want to go back and see, because they definitely knew that he was there. He dropped down from, from catwalk and fought someone there and, and nearly died, so... I... I couldn't tell you. Someone will have to go and investigate. Six to three is the current scoreline. And that's, that's great. Look at Vitality, three rounds in a row and right back in the mix. Very open game all of a sudden. If you look at the NIP economy, they spent everything in this round. And uh, yeah, that's what makes it so interesting. Saiwu looks like he's going to run out the middle with an AWP because really, why not do this? Oh, and is he quick enough? That is that's so scary. Fiorez, you, knew, you know, you saw that. Yeah, he's quick enough, but he didn't flick over, didn't take the shot. However, he has forced the defense to be a bit nervous. And it looks like Vitality going to fall into a quick mid to be split, or at least put the pressure on like they will. It's pulled Rez to CT spawn. But no decision has been made to pull the trigger quite yet. Shocks and Masoots are going to come up catwalk late. Look, look at Plopsky being waiting waiting low at the on railing. health. Like, he's so low on health that yep. it's making it very hard for, let's say, Hampus to go to middle or start to lean towards it. Like, you can't really leave Plopsky alone there. And why would you send Plopsky middle with three health? So, oh... Nork went to investigate and found death. It's not what you want to find when you go for just an exploratory mission. Twist. Ooh, he sees the head. A little bit of a fake. That's bold from shot. It's a leg shot. He's going to be rewarded. Almost gets the follow-up, but Rez can't fall back and can't go forward. So Vitality now starting to put the pieces together. It's going to be 6-4, to four, as Hampus and Plopsky have to save. If you're twisting that position, you're just going to be so annoyed, because, well, especially if you go back and look at the demo, you're going to realize if you had that kill on Shocks, you could have turned to swing for long and try to take that fight instead with your teammate, but, yeah, that just spun out of control. Hampus also getting caught now. So only Plopsky trying to stay alive with three health from the beginning of the round. Four rounds in a row now for Vitality. They are building it one step at a time and really coming back into this game in a big way. 
Round loss bonus started the kickoff, but it's not enough for NIP to actually uh, have a buy in the next round. So this is getting interesting. Yeah, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to sit back. And vitality. The question becomes how how many how many rounds can they just run off in a row? How much of a lead can they build? Can they actually take the lead away from NIP? Four to six, two rounds away. And Vitality being led by Shocks at 11 and 7. Zaiwu hasn't even really come alive. He's at 4 and 9. And Rez still leading the way for the Ninjas at 11 and 4. The rest of his teammates on NIP have 7 kills each. What's Shocks doing? I don't know. Making I, memes. The facial expressions on that team are just unbelievable. It might be one of their best features. I mean... Oh, he's, he wants it. He wants it so bad. And all he got was a shot through the door down there. Puts him at 28. Bit of a slow round for Vitality. No one running crazily down the middle or anything else like that. They have to know the economy's broken, so just playing it safe, playing it cautious. Don't do anything fast that's going to let you run into a deagle. Don't do anything that's going to run you into a pistol. Good kill from Shocks. There goes the rifle, the only one that was saved. And Apex going to press the envelope. He's got twist, headshot angle, a double kill for Apex. And the round is theirs. Hampus falls next and last in the in alive is Nock. And they know where he plays, so fifth round for Vitality. Yeah, this is just start, starting to look like a, a good recovery at the moment here. Almost getting it, but Shocks intervenes to save his teammate. Shocks at 13 and 7 right now. He's having himself a pretty good game on the second map here. NIP back with a bye yet again. Yeah, that five round win streak that they went on, sorry, six round win streak that they went on has nearly been matched by Vitality. So time for the Swedes to get back into it. Start to uh, to put some work in here or this will not be enough. Six rounds is decent, but if you're going to end up losing this many rounds in a row, I mean, you, you the team will start to feel it. I think more than anything, it, the question for NIP becomes, yeah, you might have come into this with a game plan, but now that Vitality's rattled off five in a row, do you lose confidence in that game plan? Do you try and switch things up, or are you going to stick with it? I wonder if the P90's part of the game plan. Well, that's the best part of the plan, in fact. They're, they're coming at it, baby. Here we go. 50 bullets. There's... I'm calling it out. There's no way this can fail. I've never seen How many kills are you going to get? Ten. Ten. <laughs> I'm just going to spray them and his team and then grenade himself afterwards. Here we go. <laughs> They're trying to see if they can make their way through, but the P90 is here and it'll get a big double. He's got so many bullets. And in the end, it'll be the Molotov to get one more, but we're going to call that a success anyway. He held it down for a full hour and never ran out of bullets. Mathematically <laughs> sound we'll approach. Give him, we'll give him the 10 kills. He's he's earned it. Shox is going to pick one off. Hampus is going way too quick into this flank. His teammates are not prepared. Apex fires clear. He's got to be cautious of the window. He was being quiet as he gets into the bomb site, and he's just going to wait and look and see if there's any kind of a play coming before he puts the bomb down. This has got to be a fake plant, but oh, oh, the balls on this guy. Yeah. Look at the balls on Dan. New Apex is. Uh, He's got it all. He's styling on people. Waiting back here for a chance to maybe swing for that AK-47 fight. And he's got the crossfire with Shocks. That smoke is a bit annoying to Shocks, though. Can't see anything. Oh, that needed to be a kill. And somehow it's not. Shocks misses a chance. I can't believe they actually make that retake work. I thought that was going to go in favor of Vitality. So the five-round win streak is finally broken up. But that looked oddly sloppy for a Vitality, considering how well they actually fought their way back in. Yeah, I, again, it's just like no eyes on the retake whatsoever. Everyone is just hiding. Well done with that P90. 
some beautiful work. No one actually ever spotted Rez moving into the bomb site. He had such a wide angle before anyone realized it. And Apex might have been able to do something if he had that kill clean, but all that hard work has gone to waste. Still plenty of money for Vitality going into round 13. They've got an op again on Zai Wu. $6,000 in the bank for RPK and Apex. Ooh, there's a good pick off. Nork going down, and that's Saiwu again. He doesn't care that there's a double orb in place somewhere else on the map. He is sniping away at people. Hard to stop him when he's in this mood. Oh, and they're gonna go back to B, aren't they? What are the chances he buys a P90 twice? And it was also Nork that they killed. They know it's one of the B defenders, so they're gonna get caught off guard by Hampus being here with the AWP, and that might make them change their mind. Bobski's playing it close. Twist is in the middle versus Apex. That's a secondary fight that's of great importance. Apex actually going down to Twist, oh no. so not bad at all. No scope coming in from Saibu, taking down Bobski, but Hampus is still back here doing so much work. And he needs to play it cool. Just wait until the team shows up. Shocks will take him down. And just like that, it's another two on two. Twist and Rez on the outside. Shocks and Saibu on the inside. What a deadly combination to be up against. And the bomb, they're gonna fake it once. No response yet. They're jumping on the other side. Saimu firing the gun a single time here. Let's see. They have a smoke on res. They could try and do the same thing they did last time and sort of smoke off to block out the AWP and then go for it. Another fake here. Oh, and that's the top of his head showing. They're gonna win the two on two. This time, triple on Saimu, double on shocks, and a seven to six scoreline. And that is bad news for NIP's well, economy. It and this time, because the two players from NIP were stomping outside of the B bomb site, there was never any concern that the flank was going to be coming in. There was never any concern whatsoever. They knew where the final two players were at all times, and they handled it well. Man, I'll tell you what as well. Uh, if we're, We might have to revise our opinions of Vitality. If this is the shocks that we're going to get with any sort of consistency. Now, the past like two years have proven that that's, that's not a possibility that we'll be treated to that there will not be any consistency in this kind of a performance from Shox. True. But, you know, this kind of a, this kind of, just him hitting these shots and helping them come back in rounds is enough for Shox to be a force on this team. Oh, Jason, you're falling back in love with French Counter-Strike. I'm know. not, I'm no. not, I'm just trying to lure other people into it. You deny it, but I've, I can hear it in your voice, Jason. I, I, you're I've been one of the most resistant to uh to french counter-strike and the the yeah. lures got the first butterflies in your stomach you know one day you're just sitting you're looking you out the window dry mouth yeah you think about shocks and you you catch yourself smiling just staring off into the horizon and we know how this ends <laughs> Plopsky, i don't even know where to take that oh misuta's gonna find the entrance I feel like if you uh, if you're a lover of French Counter Strike, right? You you either fall in the the Shocks camp or the NBK camp. Oh yeah, I, um, that that could that could be true. That could be like a bit of a split there. I was always uh, yeah, I've always been more of an NBK man myself. Neither camp is doing super well these days. That's if we if, we were, if we're honest about it. Well, that's the most French part of it, isn't it? The splitting up, you know, the the factions and then and then all of them doing badly. Um, <laughs> part of the part of the mission, apparently. Um, but yeah, th I don't, there's nothing. You don't have to deny it. There's nothing. I I catch myself daydreaming about shock sometimes. I think it's, it's it happens to the best of us, you know. The trick is to not, you know, like yeah. to just don't, you know, don't go all the way in there. Just keep it as like a, you know, just a thing. Don't give your heart to it. Oh, Saibu, standing in the fire. You you appreciate it, but um, Plopski, with some restraint on the other side. Would have been dead if he had uh, turned to his right there. Okay, mid mid control coming in. They spotted twist. Out. That is a risky jump, having having known the information. That is not a follow up HE grenade. Thank God, Nock has one. He could have tossed one over behind the Xbox. And Apex is going to have to play this game with 24 HP. Final round of the half to see which of these two teams takes a lead going and switching sides. Decent grenade there on Masuta. 
They have, I think, potentially a very strong defense at this A bomb site. So, um, Nork could just take a couple of steps back. We'll see if it's actually going to be any kind of attack towards A. Sai was still in the middle, makes me wonder. He's got the bomb down there, and look at Nork's late sneaking in here. Gambling on the idea that if they come out, they wouldn't check it this late in the round. And one mistake there could cost them the, the, whole, uh, the whole round. 27 seconds, and, and Vitality now running on Navi levels of time, and they don't check the corner at all. Nork with a big double and the bomb at 20 seconds, and that's going to be a round one. Absolutely no doubt about that. Big triple. That is, that's so well done. That's just a nice calculation coming out from him. 10 seconds here, and RPK is alone and simply going to be running out of time. Yeah, eight to end it the half at 19 to 9. And Saibu was starting to hit shots. This could easily be a turnaround for the French side. We'll have to find out. Hampus with a P250 down the middle, hoping for a challenge. And ooh, he nearly gets it. That's a bit of a dream, and it doesn't really work out in his favor. But this is a very, very open game. And NIP desperately need the map, as they did lose the first one. Yeah, this is elimination game as well. So if NIP were to go down here, they would be eliminated from the spring finals of Blast Premier. Yeah. It's all important game for them, quite obviously. Look oh at God. the lean from oh Vitality. God. They know exactly what's up. This is going to be, this should be an absolute slaughter. Four players going to be on the defense so fast. <laughs> and it starts even worse, doesn't it? Saibu picking one up, but they have no idea how much death they're running into. They're all gone already, or they should be. Here's another one for Shox, and they're just hiding inside this one. Shox hitting all the headshots, and that is five clean USP shots coming out from Vitality. That is, well, yeah, there, there was nothing they could have done, I think, in that one. No, they they didn't even realize. They'll, they'll find out later when they watch the demo back or watch the VOD back that Vitality had their number the whole way. This is absolutely <laughs> insane. That is such a freak show. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to do against that? And this is why we always talk about the dangers of shocks. This is why discussion of him is always preceded by an if statement. Those kinds of kills are unbelievable. He really does have... He has such a special quality about him when he's... Um, when he's feeling warmed up and ready. I think uh, Maniac was bringing up an important point earlier on the desk. Was talking about sort of as some as someone like Shox who used to you know be very confident. Seeing him not in that form is definitely I have the same reaction as the one that Maniac has. Obviously Maniac knows him better than I do, but still, um, that's that's the thing I hate the most about watching Shox play when he's not in that mood. And well, this is the reason why the contrast to to what we're seeing here is incredible. I know when I've had discussions of, of uh, with the Vitality guys, I, I mean, recently, especially since this new lineup, it's, it's Apex took over, the conversation, a lot of it has been the, the one thing that they found that fixed most of the issues has been actually, actually, let's hold the phone on that one because this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. A nice pair of team kills in there might save the day for Vitality. I am so confused. A bit of a peek. Some damage on the shocks, but um, they have head armor here on the CT side. That's really crucial. Should be able to win this fight, although they're taking a lot of damage. There's Masuta helping them out. And now it's just a Glock left. Last one here, looking for it. Burst fire is in play. We've got all the tricks and none of them are working. Would be a round for Vitality. Bless my heart, that should have never gotten that close. Um, one of the big changes that they made with Apex coming in is switching up some of the roles so that Zai Wu and Shocks wouldn't really be the two Ever primarily working together. Oh, Rez. He kills two of his teammates. That's got to be frustrating. Um, because the explanation was Zaiwu and Shox are both used to their entire career of being the star players, right? They're the ones being set up. So their first thought in a scenario isn't, I'm going to throw a flashbang for you, right? It's like, where where can I make a play? Where's my flashbang? Yeah. So splitting them up onto other sides of the map actually frees them up and pairs them with people who are more suited to enable them to do better. That does make a lot of sense. Yeah, you could have like a little cell of, you know, one superstar on either side. That makes sense. Some damage onto Hampers and Rez. But otherwise, they're spread out in a pretty default setup here in IP. Masuta is looking like someone who may want to go and check in up a dark, and Plopski's just falling back from that position, so. 
Now it's a bit interesting who's going to get the better of it. Well, the fact that they peek with the flashbang means Plovsky's going to know that someone is here. And he's going to go back and check. Can't believe the timing. This is unbelievable. Oh. I can't believe he's... They're also being given the gift of Masuta just falling back. He wants... He, he really apparently loves that fight at the staircase. They had the angle. Now they go back for it. I don't even think Nock heard the footstep they made. I, Man, this is... This is actually pretty great for Vitality. If Zaiwu can just stay alive and hold them off a delay, maybe get one kill, that'd be massive. This flank is going to come in so fast, as long as they don't ignore clearing this corner to the left. Cool. Well, there's two people there, but the game is off. They know what's coming. Misuta goes down, and Saibu and RPK, they go check Long. They want to make sure that no one is there. They're not going to find anyone, and they're going to actually rejoin, so they give up on Long altogether. Twist has that AWP, and there really is only one flashbang here on Saibu. How can they retake this? They're going to get a big kill and a good follow-up from RPK. Are they going to go back for it? They seem like they're shuffling around all over the map for a while here. Two on three, and they need to stay alive here on the NIP side and buy as much time as possible. There are kits in play all over it, and it's a one versus two, and Twist will not miss the shot here. I feel like he's been doing that a fair bit, but that was a good double kill for him and a nine to nine scoreline, man. That, that round could have gone like ten different ways. Yeah, that's a pretty critical win, and you can see the, the safety net, unfortunately, since they gave up long, since no one actually came from long, Twist is allowed to just sit at this railing with safety. And that was a player that rotated back from long to help out on Catwalk as well, so you give up a big advantage of that angle, and Twist has free reign, and now he's just cranked out a headshot down mid as well. Another leg shot through the door. Oh, headshot to take down oh. Hampus. That is interesting. See if he can get more. There's a flashbang, and that should make it pretty much... Oh, no! Not Ooh. impossible at all. I take it all no. back. Can we get a third one? Yeah, here we go. He's going to swing for it. He's still out here fighting. He's feeling so bold. I just love this version of Apex. I'm not known to be a scouter. Shox is going to shrink the map, pushing into upper dark. The question is uh, now for NIP, do they fall back or do they just continue forward? They've got a, they've got a minute to work with. One player at 30 HP. Shox has you boxed into long. You could have already escaped, but Shox isn't going to see anything in middle. So Zaiwu's going to start rotating over and RPK just has to play it smart. Yeah, he's falling back in. They don't have a Molotov if to one kill, If one kill happens at this bomb site, Twist can't watch the flank. Ooh. Flank is gone, shots. Maybe a little bit of a mess up on the timing, and RPK also goes down. Mm, yeah, it seemed like there was way more of an opportunity. Apex, just out of nowhere with the headshots. Saibu not realizing there's a guy in pit. He survives the first encounter, luckily. There's a gun on the ground that he's leaving there, which I guess he still has the scout. Man, that was set up yeah, to that be Galil. even more exciting, yeah. It feels like that should have had a bit more resistance to it at the bomb site, but I mean, what a tough fight. The P250 against those AKs, especially once RPK's position was given up. But I mean, after the two shots from Apex and the tag as well, you just thought it, it felt so possible. Zaiwu, I don't even know why they're chasing him. They don't even need to take this gun away from him. No, they, and they decide not to. Nork actually gave up on it, so good, probably a good call there. 10 to 9. This is just so close. This stuff from Apex, though, is wild. I so wanted him to get the third one. All right, here we go. Another save round for Vitality. They forced up in the last. So NIP has, a, has an opportunity, a pretty relatively nice opportunity to get up to a two-round lead at 11 to 9. And more than that, they can build up some cash flow. They've had some costly rounds in this half so far, so wanting to get some money behind them. Saibu so being active in the middle with the scout, while the rest of them are hiding in B. And if they were to come B, I mean, if they're going to run in there, he has he has a flashbang you can throw over the wall as well. There's a, there's a cool little setup. I mean, it doesn't look like it's actually going to work out because NIP are checking out long. But it's worth doing. It's probably better than whatever the alternative would have been. So, um, still 11 to 9. And NIP seem fairly comfortable on this second half, so far at least.
things are working out well for them. Yeah, things are working out quite nice for the moment. Cross smokes come in. Zaiwu just gonna spam away. Nothing's gonna land. So Rez is at top mid. If they can find this AK-47, that'd be that'd be a pretty decent thing to get out of this round with. There's the first kill. Nice shot from Masuta. And now pick up that AK-47 and book it. Get out of there. Save the weapon and use it in the next round. Another tag from the scout. Did he not have head armor, Rez? I feel like that sounded I like. He was tagged up a little bit by another pistol previously before that headshot came in. Could have been, yeah, I guess. Try and do more damage while we're sold in a couple of kills in favor of... Pete. And Shox, as you said, making an escape with the AK, and they're not going to be able to find him either. But still, 11 to 9 here. And... Weeds. It's not a roaring victory or anything just yet, but they are five rounds away from taking the second map, which would be real interesting. Was it Inferno as the decider? Was, am I remembering that? It is... Let me check. Yes, Inferno will be the third and deciding map in this series. So that would be a, that would be a great way to conclude this. Yeah. But we still have to see if Vitality can respond. Well, I still feel like we haven't uh, we haven't seen Zaiwu yet on Dust Two have have the impact that he that he wants quite yet. Give him some time with this AWP. He's over at the car right now. RPK a big risk inside of the smoke at the corner as well. Hampus jumps into pit. He's tracked the whole way. But this makes RPK. Oh, that's a beautiful two-tap. Yeah. He's in so much danger as well, uh, which I think is what you were getting yeah, to. Yeah, that's what I was about <laughs> to say until he got the kill. <laughs> he just he made it look so easy. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, you're dead. Boop. All grouped up in the middle. A bit scary if, okay, if someone starts shooting through. It looks like they're going to be sacrificing at least one of the people here this side. Ooh, easy kill for him. Falls back to a second corner. I don't think this is worth it. You go at him, you're likely going to die. He's... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. That is absolutely ridiculous. He just no-scopes himself through the smoke while flash to get a kill. There's no accounting for that. And another oh one. This is God. absolutely illegal, isn't it? Well, I just said he wasn't exactly having the impact that he was supposed to have. Uh, but there's really no explanation for any of that. Kids, don't try that at home. No, you, you'll get reported right quick if you do. So What? Yeah, this is outrageous. Wait, go, go back to that one. Go rewind. Enhance. Do you really want to see it again? Well... I'm sure we can get Yeah, because I think I could have sworn he just like shot into a box and the bullet went like at a 90 degree angle out of the barrel. Yeah, he's the last AWP bender. <laughs> <laughs> Someone draw an arrow on his forehead. Masuta. Oh. Yeah, he's in trouble. He does spot out one, but there are way more around the corner. Missed opportunity and he will instantly get traded, leaving shocks alone on the bomb side. This is such a good... Uh, opportunity here for NIP, though Apex did get one. Shocks with the follow-up and a big double. Oh, he comes fighting out of the bomb site with a triple and he turns around for the quad. What a defense. You don't you don't beat Shocks when he's playing like this. 28 no. kills. I I what actually think that's an incredibly that's, heroic effort. That's gotta be the backbreaking moment. That's so hard to deal with. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Here you just is. destroyed... Yeah, look at... Okay. That's... We'll, we'll give it to him. Judges come in. They, they'll allow it. It's a legal regulation size flight. Yeah, it's legal. It's All just not ethical. <laughs> Which, uh, you know... Yeah. Man, that play from Shox coming out of the B bomb site as well, all alone. You've killed his support structure. In fact, I think that one of his teammates got a spray down through the smoke again, but he does all the hard work. This is very nice from RPK. Yeah, and tapping away. And Apex on the org, which I've been, I've been really impressed with Apex on this org. I think he's made a great case for that. 
being at least the weapon that's worth, you know, putting some hours into to training with. Okay. Second deal shot is still accurate, apparently. Man, people know how to use the deagles these days. I'm glad I'm not playing in this area anymore, because this would just be frustrating. All three players gonna go protect the bomb. Apex was the only one spotted. Knock at the last remaining alive for an IP. Oh, oh, my sweet Jesus. He's done it again. Now he's got the opening. Although, I mean, listen, you're asking for two of those same shots to follow that one up. He's got the tag. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That got close. And Masuta hesitates. I don't think he'll be able to save the AWP, but they've got money for it. That's way too close for comfort. I can't believe he got that kill of the car. That I can't believe he even registered that someone was there. <laughs> oh man. That is Ooh. excitement on. Sharks is laughing. Why wouldn't he be? 12 to 11. I don't know how you stop Sharks when he's feeling like this. Simon we're gonna miss a chance, but pretty safe for him. He's gonna fall back around the corner and they can't chase him through the flashbangs either. Apex and Plopsky could be having a really weird fight here. Apex, but he could be just TS, instantly taken down. Plopsky waiting the whole time. He's low on health and the grenade will trade him out. Heads up play. The toughest part about this is if you go to the B-bomb site, you've got shocks to deal with. If you go to the A-bomb site, you've got Zai Wu. And he's going to be called upon right here. He's got the angle, but Hampus is going to be right below it. Oh, dear. There's the nades. There's the indication. And he's stuck inside the bomb site. But that might not be an issue for Zaiwu. Looking around the smoke, but they've jumped over the top. RPK over at the corner boxes. Big kill from Shocks to bail them out of a tough spot. And Zaiwu is now going to get aggressive. He spent enough time waiting, and he's done with it. On top of the boxes himself, he's found one. There is Nock, who's made it into Goose. He's got the first kill and the second, but can't transfer over. It's just Twist. Big opportunity, but can't find the first one there. Shocks with a double, Misuta with a double. And you can see Zaiwu again, like, even with the smokes and everything else, he's just darting in and out. It's 13 to 11. I feel like Vitality have just come alive. They've won the last four rounds in a row, but that's not even the problem. There's 24 rounds played, and Shox is 30 and, three, and 13 here. He's, he's already dropped the 30 bomb, and I mean, there's still still way more to come. And I think between him and Zaiwu a couple rounds, they've, they've kind of tempered these NIP players. It's back to what we were seeing on Mirage, where there's a little bit of second guessing if they want to swing for that fight. The trade, the second player is coming a little bit late. Or like that round, they have all the smokes up, all the flashes, they've crossed. But nobody really wants to be attacking the bomb site. It's just one player trying to find a cheesy kill over the smoke. There's no real aggression or power into the hit. Yeah, and Derek, I mean, actually, Vitality's money is not looking great either, but in IP in this round, as you could tell, the Deagles, even though they were impressive earlier, hard to rely on getting that many 1Ds. We got the scout in middle on Hampus, and he's waiting here for a while, but looks like maybe a target. Ooh, leg shot as well on Apex, and I think they tagged Shocks through the door earlier. Sai we're gonna show up with a bit more of a cannon on the other side of the smoke though. They might try and go for the shocks and Masuda inside of the B-bomb site. If one of them goes down, could be a real problem. Masuda with a bit of a Molotov there, and he's gonna get a headshot too, but shocks low from earlier. And yeah, they're gonna go fight him and win that fight. Three on three now for the afterplan and Plopsky inside near the smoke in middle with a deagle in hand, but they're gonna go check that hard. Oh, and Zywoo's looking for the next peak. Scout and AK-47, low on HP across all three players. Can they close the gap to make this retake doable? Zywoo's got to cover them for at least window. Rez wants the peak, but he's going to give it up right at the end. Scout on Hampus still is nothing intimidating, so here come all the nades. This has to be fast. Rez is close up. He peeks. He swings forward, and he's got a double, and that should be the round. Apex comes in late, but he has no idea where Hampus is, and it's time to fall away. The money is surprisingly not good for vitality yeah that that is a, a massive round what a great call realizing they tag up apex they decide to just smoke it off and go straight for it and because they had already uh, softened up shocks he can't you know go on any kind of crazy multi-kill round so 12 to 13 they actually put the brakes on vitality after them having won four rounds on the row and they do it with almost no equipment in this round Hampers with a really beautiful round here. And obviously Rez at the end.
this is this is so this what a weird game this is. It feels it feels like Vitality has been dominating, but the scoreline is close, and NIP actually have an amazing chance here to grab every single advantage in the final four rounds of this map. If NIP can win here, they take everything away from Vitality in terms of weaponry, in terms of economy. And then it's going to have to be one or two save rounds for Vitality in the final four rounds of the map. Yeah. I like how we could spend, you know, just a little bit of time re-watching those ridiculous kills from Cyber earlier. They're, wor they're worth it. Well, here we are. Orp, M4, Deagle, and a couple of MP9s on Vitality. It's so close, but Saiwu goes down to twist. Big fight to win. Apex real close here with the MP9. He's going to get the first one and the second one there. He wants to take it and he'll get both. That is uh, an even better reply here. Two for one trade. Oh, no. Well, they've got to go long now and they've got to hit it quick. Everyone is going to be here from Vitality. Three players, just one smoke is up. They can't cross quite yet. There's the second one. Now they start swinging over, but the weapons are in the hands of Vitality. A wild spray. Masuta's got one and a second after the dink. He cleans up all three. And you want to talk about a back-breaking moment earlier from Shox. Masuta yeah. just delivered another one. Yeah, how do you recover mentally from that? That was your moment. Probably not even just to, to take, uh, to, to equalize, but probably to take the lead in the game. Probably would have been 14-13 in favor of NIP very soon if they could have won this round. Frustration is definitely growing. Wow, this, this game is so, so close. But all the while through, you just, you feel like Vitality are going to be the ones walking away with it here. I don't know what they need to do, NIP. That's... that's that's what feels so weird is like it, it does and feel like there's no way Vitality lose this, but then you keep going back to the score and it's two rounds back. NIP almost was able to take the advantage. And I think now finally that that feeling might be solidified as NIP is in a really desperate scenario. I mean, you're you're before spying in this round with a Scout, a Galil, a MAC-10 and a Deagle. And you've got to win it against a double op, against a Shox with 31 kills. And you don't really have the utility to do anything but take long control and try and cross. At least this time, with something like the MAC-10 and the Deagle and the Galil, you have players who have to be aggressive to take over the bomb site. There's going to be no slowing down and no second guessing if they can make it up the long corridor. And they're going to be allowed to get quite close to the corner. Yeah, you're right. Once they go, though, it's going to be all in. There's no doubt about that. Saiwu smoked off. He's going to put up a little bit of smoke to buy some time. And a Molotov to do some damage behind it. Sees just a shadow there, but unable to pick anyone up. Still feeling a bit safe, but he shouldn't be. Plovsky had snuck past that smoke that he himself put up. And now the bomb is making its way up there, and they're going to fall back. They want to save the economy here, Vitality. That's, that's what they're playing for. Probably a good idea, although it's... It's a bit painful when you're this late in the game. Yeah, I'm amazed they actually gave up the site without without any real battle for it. Just Zaiwu throwing up that smoke and backing off and seeing if he could get a clever shot. There was no real resistance to that hit in a, in a round where Vitality had all the advantages. So NIP given a lifeline here right at the end. I mean, at this once Zaiwu goes down, they're exactly right. The smart decision is to save. Yeah, because, I mean, again, the, the one thing that could really break their back, obviously, is if that economy resets when you're this, this close to the end of the match or the end of the round, and, or, sorry, the end of the map, it's, it's, it's at that point, right? Sharks with the AWP. I just, it just, it's, it's curious to me watching Zaiwu throw the same smoke that he threw earlier and then back up, and this round he throws the same smoke. Or, I mean, previously he threw the smoke and he got aggressive into the bomb site to get a wide angle. So yeah. I'm just curious about the, the two different... Maybe he's just trying to mix up the way he plays it. Maybe he just didn't have a teammate with him this time that he had previously. But, I mean, I, I don't know. Personally, I would have just liked to see a little bit more resistance to that attack. I wonder, I think maybe last time he had more people that were closer to the mid and this time they were further back. So he was, you know, maybe feeling uh, like there was less of a distraction. I don't know. It is hard to say, isn't it? Shox is alone, creeping in with the M4 and around the corner is Hampus. He looked a bit distracted and he's going to be going down. 
Don't think he was quite ready for it, but they're gonna go quick out the middle. Misuta is left alone at the bomb site. Can they get past the smoke without going down? The spray is in, and Chox will get a last bullet on Popsky. That does make it a bit more doable. Still a three on three, and we know retaking that B bomb site is never a fun time. So, do they want to risk the rifles that they just saved in the previous round trying to do this? You could justify getting, you know, a look into the bomb site, but if you lose these rifles, it's real bad news. This battle's everything. I think they have to at least wait and let RPK go for an attempt here, and if he fails this, then they back away. But you have to let RPK try and turn this corner. Twist's attention is not there, and now he's giving it up entirely. It's Knock in the back of platform. Here come the flashbangs. RPK's got a Molotov, oh. but he can't send it. He's got a headshot instead. Twist with the op, can't reload fast enough, and Vitality on 15. They've got two chances to close it out. If you replay that round, you're going to see, or at least the, the three on three, you're going to see some amazing flashbangs. There were so many set up. That allowed for RPK to get that deep fight down towards the plateau. That is, that's, some, that's just a really amazing flashbang work to, to try and get that retake. Yeah. So well done. 15 to 13. NIP with the bomb plant still have money, but <laughs> oh yeah. I don't blame Twist. I feel the frustration too. They are, they're almost there, but now they would have to fight for overtime. And but again, they, they have enough money to at least get some, uh, some power in this. Two AK-47s yeah. and AWP. I don't know. You want to you wanna see... I mean, just by looking at the scoreline, we obviously know Shox is having an, an absolutely incredible game, but the amount of rounds that Vitality have saved by getting, like, two kills through smokes, you think the Zaiwu round, where he, where he kills one with the blind yep. no-scope, and then he follows that up with a scope shot through the smoke to the window, and then Shox with the spam through that smoke, like, Vitality's, Vitality's getting bailed out by a little bit of luck on top of, on top of playing well. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes that's the difference, right? Campus trying to sneak his way in. Masuto's there, and that's a massive spray. He's going to get the last kill as well from beyond the grave with the Molotov. And that was NIP putting everything on a somewhat disjointed B rush. Now just Nork and Rez left. Two versus four to try and hold on to the Dream, and it starts well with a headshot. Nearly one for the smoke as well, but RPK showing up, and Rez, the only one left. He's fighting his way out, and he goes down to Saiwu. 